Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about how we can get access of Twitter's data using our language, right? So today I'll be talking about what are the prerequisites, what we have to do in order to uh, get access to the Twitter's data. What are the uh, points we need to take care of? What are the information we need to extract? Everything will be covered in this video. So let's get started. So you can see in front of you, uh, I have written some lines of code, right? So these are the nothing but the Twitter keys, Twitter API keys. We got, we will we'll get four keys from Twitter, which are consumer key, consumer secret key, access token key, and access token secret key. So maybe some of you must be wondering that what I'm talking about. Actually, Twitter has got two versions. One is the regular Twitter, right? In which uh, we uh, usually tweets the things right and we usually post the uh, images uh, videos polls and other stuff we also have a second version of our twitter uh, website it's called developer.twitter.com you need to log in to developer.twitter.com using the same credentials as of your twitters and we need to create one app over there so if you can get the app created over there you will be getting four keys uh, from the twitter Th those four keys are highlighted here due to privacy reasons i'm not sharing my keys that's why you can see here uh, it's not being completely uh, written here so i'm just showing the part of it so let me first show you uh, the keys here these this this is how the twi developer.twitter.com look like right and these are the keys i'm talking about these are the keys you'll be getting from the developer.twitter.com you need to first log in through the twitter credentials you need to create one app over there by answering some of the questions Twitter will ask you that why you have to create an app. You need to give proper reason that I require it for the academic purpose, right? You need to uh, give uh, the subjective remarks over there. Then Twitter will review your application. Once you uh, answer all the question, you need to submit this app, submit the uh, submit your application. Once your application got approved, you need to create one app. And uh, once your app got created, you'll be getting access to these keys and tokens, right? So these are the keys and tokens which I'm highlighting in this notepad file. All right, this is a point. So first of all, in order to work on this practical, you need to have those four keys with you already. All right, so what are the things we need to uh, take care of? First of all, we need to install a package called Twitter R. Okay, this one, T-W-I-T-T-E capital R. Once you have this uh, properly installed, you need to load the library. Then you can give some app name, it's optional. Then you can give the keys. I'm having now four variables which are uh, having the uh, keys available, right? So afterwards you need to uh, write this uh, function, setup underscore twitter dot underscore o a u t h. It's nothing but uh, with, the, with the help of this function, uh, you'll be authenticated with the Twitter. It means there'll be a handshake occurring between you and a Twitter using those four keys. All right, so once once this function got successfully executed, then you will have access to the Twitter's content. So I've already have done these steps in my R console. So I'll be starting from the steps straight away. It means what information we can fetch from Twitter. All right, so I'm again repeating that due to the privacy reason, I'm not sharing my keys here, but these are the steps you need to follow. I'll be putting up these steps in the description box of this video. All right, so once you have these things available, let's see what information we can extract from the Twitter. Let's get started. First of all, uh, as I'm a cricket fan, I'll be first try to access uh, the try to find the information related to Virat Kohli, the cricket king. We we call it uh, we call him right the King Kohli. Let's try to uh, get some uh, access to his information. So for that, we have a function available called get user. All right. So get user, and I'm putting the uh, Kohli's uh, Twitter handle name. It is I am V Kohli. All right, I am V Kohli. This is the uh, Twitter uh, thing, Twitter handle. So I press enter. All right, I got this. That's why I've already have opened up his account here. You can see this is the name of the uh, Virat Kohli's uh, Twitter handle. And I'm just uh, getting the same information here. First of all, uh, now I'll be showing you uh, what are the uh, favorites, uh, what are the favorite tweets of uh, Kohli means you all know that in the case of the uh, Twitter, we have the concept of retweets, we have the concept of favorite, we have the concept of uh, like uh, publishing the uh, tweet or what's a, a recent tweet he has done. So we'll talk about this uh, with the help of this little video. All right. First of all, uh, let's see 
what are the favorites okay of the virat kohli's account i am v kohli all right and here i'm passing the three it means i would like to have three tweets let's check it out you can see it here i got three uh favorite tweets done by virat all right moving further uh, now i'll try to find out the followers of virat although it's showing it's 55.3 m million followers okay it's quite a huge number so how we can get that for that first of all i'm putting this into a variable x okay i'm putting into a variable x this one okay and let's try to find out his follower account we have a function we have a, a keyword available followers okay count c capital count it's exactly same whatever i'm getting on the twitter website so that's why i'm sharing i'm just opening this in front of you so that you can see there's a sync between the uh, information which i am getting from twitter and what is originally there in the twitter's account okay next moving further let's try to find out its his name uh, i'm putting here name it's virat kohli all right so virat kohli is a name you can see it here the uh, i am v kohli is a is is his uh, twitter handles account right so moving further what's the screen name of the virat kohli so we have a screen name of virat kohli it is i am v kohli right it's a screen name now next is when uh, he has made this account you can see it here he has joined on september 2009 let's try to find this uh, it is created means when this account got created it is uh, exactly 3 september 2009 all right it's matching with this information as well moving for the what when uh, he has done his last status means i want to know its last status so i'm going with the last status means last tweet okay it is this one last status it is this one okay let's let me open up this link it's opening up meanwhile we are moving further you can see it here it will be showing the status last status of virat kohli the last tweet so he has uh, shared the post of anushka sharma last tweet it's may 1st means today only right so it means it's exactly the information we are getting here so it is a, a, a same information i'm getting with this uh, as well moving further description of the virat kohli it's showing here a proud husband and father so let's me try let me try to print this information we have a description available description all right so it is a proud husband and father it's matching with this right moving further i would like to uh, uh, check out its profile image although it's currently showing here still we can find out with the profile uh, image url image url so i got this image let me uh, try to open up this and you'll be getting the same image as of virat kohli on the twitter handle all right moving further uh, let's uh, let's suppose i want to now know the how many tweets virat kohli has done in this account it is 2830 tweets he has done we can also check out with the uh, status status uh, count okay status count okay let me check out where i have done it wrong it is small s status count it is exactly 2830 which is matching with the original uh, virat kohli's account uh, twitter handle all right now uh, this is about the exactly a one user we are talking about let's move further let me try to search in a in a uh, in the in the twitter regarding some topic for that we have a search tw twitter function available search twitter and i would like to search uh, about the current topic which is ipl currently going on so let me check out the uh, ipl tweets here i'm putting the keyword and i would like to have a three tweets about the ipl so i just press enter i got the three tweets about the ipl all right this is the point all right so moving further next we are having uh, let me try to find out the trends of india all right so uh, for that we have one uh, one there is a one keyword available it's called uh, who on earth id w o e i d so for india it is uh, this one so i would like to know the trends of india today so it is 2282 okay this is the id given to india 863 so it is 2282863 it's the w o e id of india so when i press enter i'll be getting the uh, like what are the like today's uh, uh, means trending tweets or trending topics on india you can see it here i got multiple topics here which is uh, lsg versus rcb uh, this one uh, s jackson right 
So this is all about what is going on right now in that India. Okay, this is a great crunch, and this is number is nothing but a who on earth ID, W O E I D. All right, so I got this uh, information here. Let's move further. Uh, let's try to uh, okay. Let's try to now update the status. Okay, uh, you can do. You can also update the status on a Twitter handle. Let's try to uh, update the status. I'm putting it here. It is called update status. Okay, so I'm putting uh, something here just for fun. I would like to tweet this on my on the Twitter handle. For that, I've already have one dummy or dummy uh, Twitter handle available. Let's see if I can post the tweet right from the R console. I press enter. So it is available in the in this account. This is a like a dummy account. Let's go it here and let me check out. Just see, just for fun means whatever I have written here, it's got tweeted here. Let me also tweet something else. New tweet. All right. Let me fresh refresh this, and let me see if this available or not. Yes, see, new tweet. All right, it's happening here. All right. So I hope, uh, guys, you must have understood uh, how we can get access to the Twitter's data and how we can perform some regular functions on Twitter, right? Using the R console. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.